Hello, YouTube. How your mama? How your brothers? How your sisters? How your family? How your friends doing? Today, welcome back to Truth Be Told. And we have Marianne. Hey! The Puerto Rican princess. Yay! <laughs> so, today, y'all. First, Marianne. Let's, let's drink to this, okay? Because it's about to get real today. Exactly. We haven't done this real. for a while, so... It's going to get real today. So, as we all know, there's a lot of things going on in this world. And to be honest, at first, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to deal with it because I feel like it's just depressing. It it's, really is. There's no point of... It's sad. It's depressing. On... Yeah, and everybody's already talking about it on Facebook and all different social media sites and people are rioting and all that type of stuff. And then we also have this corona thing where people are getting sick and sick feet. Of course, we're not social distancing right now. Please don't sue us because we don't have the time or the money because guess what? A lot of people are out of work. Yes. We're actually We're actually, we're actually um, six feet away. You just, the camera makes you look at what together. Right, right. We just got it. It's a trick. It's a camera trick. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, um, I guess first, I guess we should start with Corona because it's kind of lighter, a lighter subject. So, how do you feel about Corona, the coronavirus? Well, like I said, or COVID, COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen. Um, basically, it's been a plus and a minus. Okay. The plus side is that. Is kept my money in my pocket. <laughs> right. The negative side is that I have two kids, and this COVID nineteen has me going, hum, let me not beat these kids' asses. Because <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean. I will not kill my boss today. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, hmm, I will not murder my husband. <laughs> because I don't know if that's from I mean, COVID-19 or no, that's just crazy. I am a <laughs> home health aide. I did not sign up for a teacher, homeschooling, none Coco, of this. you got to calm it down. And, um, Our special guest, Coco. Yes. The dog. Mm-hmm. Chanel, Coco Chanel. No, there's nobody here, by the way. She it's just barks. Um, she barks at her imaginary friend, or unless she has, she sees her boyfriend out there. Oh, she has a boyfriend. Yes. Um. So you said it's been a plus and a minus, and you're ready. To, sometimes you get a little overwhelmed. It's pretty much what you just said. Yes. Um. I legit come home, and I finish my job at nine thirty. And I sit in my parking, in my driveway, legit for a whole hour before I come home. <laughs> I feel stressed or something? Because I swear to God, the minute I walk, it's like a, it's a music going up in here. Mm -hmm. Kids fighting, husband yelling, start the fighting. Right. It's Kids are saying, on. I'm a bitch ass. Kids say bitch ass. Yep. Yo, I'm Your innocent you children say yep. that. I'm saying, and I'm then I'll sit. I'll sit. They never said anything rude in front of me. I'll sit. I'll sit here, and I'll listen to them. Mind you, they don't know I'm inside the house, and I'm listening to them fighting, and I'm listening, you know, almost killing them each other and everything. I'm, I'ma hit you. I'ma pull your hair. This and that, and I'm legit sitting in my couch. Listen to them. The minute they see me being Puerto Rican as I am, and they know how I get, I swear their complexion turn colors. Those, each one of them go in their room, they shut the door because they know they're about to get their ass whooped. Well, that's all, folks. <laughs> no, um, I think, okay, so I travel for work. And I do merchandising, which means we go into a different bunch of different oh, stores. Oh, just for the record, I don't beat my kids, okay? Yeah. She just, you know, takes that phone away or something. Yeah. Isn't that what modern people do these days? Yep. Yeah. Beat yeah. your kid's ass. I don't know what they're talking about. But anyways, that's a whole nother day. Whole nother subject. Um, kids need discipline. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of y'all acting like they don't, okay? But moving on. Um, 
because I needed discipline. I was bad as hell. So, either way, for me, Corona, I traveled for work. So, I was considered essential. So, I still had to work. And there's a lot of people who are sitting at home and collecting a check. I have no problems with that because I would love to join you. But I'm essential. But, um, and, you know, people are getting their, um, what, what do they call it? Their uh, COVID relief money? Stimulus check? Stimulus check. Yeah, people are being stimulated. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I, like you said, it's pros and cons. Pros is a lot of things you ain't got to pay right now, I guess. Uh, um, you're getting a break from school or your jobs or, you know, you're getting like a mental break in a way. People are sitting at home. Well, basically, it's more like, to look at it, you're spending more family quality time together with your family. Whether you decide to kill them within a week or so, that's on you. But, uh, and I think that's a good thing. I think the good thing is people are spending time with their families and doing more stuff together. It's big, big it's caused a lot of togetherness between people in the world. Mm-hmm. You know, people helping each other out with toilet tissue and all different types of things and hand sanitizer and creating little groups. And I think that's the beautiful part about it. And one of my friends actually pointed that out to me. They was like, you know, yeah, this is a bad time, but look how nice people are being to other people. See, the thing is, we should have been being this nice to other people from the beginning. That's true. Not wait until something like this happens to be mm. like, you know, we are the world. We are the children. We're supposed to be like we that every day, y'all. And I don't see why y'all can't understand that. But, you know, you know people out here are just crazy. Just so, loco. Mucho yeah, loco. Mucho loco. <laughs> so, um, I think Corona has been mm, a blessing and a curse at the same time. Give it to and, me. Yeah. And the curse part is, um, I just don't sound real selfish to me, but I don't care. This is how I feel. I was recently in Florida and I could not go anywhere. I couldn't explore the city, you know, because I'm from North Carolina. I couldn't explore the city or do anything because of Corona. I hurt my feelings a little bit, but at the same time, I know that can be replaced when this is all over. I know I can go back and, you know, hang out there or whatever, but I feel like the curse thing is there's people out there who are just so out into the world that they don't know how to live in this world where they got to be stuck in the house in quarantine. Me personally, I can sit there and watch Netflix all day. So I'm not bothered either way, but I do like to go out sometimes with my friends or whatever and hang out. So it's, you know, and it's changing jobs and stuff because people are realizing, oh my God, I can work from home. That's true. Now you have, you know, or meeting virtual meetings and stuff like that. Zoom and all these uh, doctor's appointments. Now you could do it through Zoom if you don't really don't want to go to the office. Now, I do have one complaint. Okay, I had a friend recently who was supposed to have. They're, they're pregnant. They're about to have a baby. And shout out to you, Autumn. Um, and she was like, you know, this is like her first baby or whatever, and she had to, uh, she was supposed to have an appointment, but now they're doing a virtual. And she was like, how can you tell me what's wrong with my baby or everything virtually? Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I don't know how I feel about the virtual doctor's appointments, because that seems weird to me. But I mean, I, it's, and it's not all of them, because I have gone to doctor's appointment and I think I only have one virtual doctor's appointment one through zoom well, I mean, if it's other just a, ones i if have it's just gone a, physically here if it's a checkup i don't see like you know if it's just like oh how have you been feeling you know is everything okay and you feel fine i don't see the big deal with that mm -hmm. but if you go in there and you have problems with god knows what then i don't know how that would really work i guess you would have to go in doing it after that i don't know either way um so Corona has been something, we would say, and... 
the saddest part of all this, I think, is so many lives that has lost because of this, you know, and within those lives are small kids, mm -hmm. babies, you know, and and elderly and you turn on a channel and you see all these elderly people like, you know, visiting through the TV or, and that's the hardest part. The hardest part is letting go to your family members or seeing your family members go and you can't even be there. You can't have a funeral. Right. Um, I had uh, one of my clients okay. that I worked for six months um, sadly, she passed away, and I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, yes, um, she was a sweet old lady, and was it because of not because COVID? of the coronavirus? Oh. Okay. Thank God it wasn't because I just of wanted the, to clarify that. Yeah, so. it was not because of the coronavirus. She just she was failure. She was 90, 91 years old, and she was failure to thrive, and and um, basically. I mean, but the simple fact that she was in a home and she was isolated, she couldn't understand um, why she couldn't have family members over or visitations over. Oh, uh, so she wasn't so understanding what was going on. Because she, she wasn't was understanding. So it was what, just stressing her out in so many words. Exactly. Right? Hmm. So. Hmm. You know, and I got the sad news that she moved on and she passed away. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, rest in peace to her. And rest in she, peace. And I'm pretty sure we can't tell you her name, but rest in peace. Exactly. Because hip loss. Um, I think there's a lot of people who've lost their lives and there's a lot of bad things going on. But I also, I mean, there's, there's a beautiful side to it, I guess. And but, kudos to all those... Doctors, police officers, firefighters that are putting their lives mm -hmm. in a line of duty for COVID-19, mm -hmm. kudos to you. Kudos to you. Yeah. Kudos to you guys. But to switch it on another note, hmm. police officers, y'all are just on the docket, man. Y'all just... Yes. We got to talk um, about y'all. I mean... So, okay. We talked about Corona. And I... First, let me say... Let's, let's say this. Let's give a... Mm, almost like a public service announcement. First, we understand that people have jobs to do. We understand that you... It's not always easy to do your jobs. We understand that... You know, you are risking your life every day that you go out there and decide that you're going to be a cop, a nurse, any of those things. Because, you know, with nurses, you're going to be around sick people. With cops, you're probably going to be around sick people, too. <laughs> and people who are confused, lost, whatever the case may be. So, you, you're risking your lives in both areas. In a lot of areas, you're always... But truthfully, in the world we live in, you're always risking your life when you mm -hmm. walk out the door. But... I'm just saying. So kudos to us regular people too who are risking our lives the, the moment we walk out the door. Um, there has been a lot of, and you know what? I'm gonna leave rice out of it. I'm just gonna say there's been a lot of shootings, deaths, uh, deaths by police. Um, Brutality. Yeah, police brutality. That's sad. And, brutality. And to be honest with you, this is the one main thing. I understand you work a rough job or whatever, but do you have to be rough with everybody? What's the What's the point of? I mean, your badge is supposed to represent loyalty, respect, honesty, trust, hmm. and protection. Listen what I said, the last one. Protection. Protection! Protection in Spanish. Yes. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't never feel protected when a cop stops me. 
I mean, unless hey. it's one of those cops that says, hey, that's my type, that's my type, but no, let me stop. Um, <laughs> Right. Um, but um, I never feel protected. I mean, I guess for me, I never feel protected when a cop cops me because I feel like I never know what's going to be the outcome because of situations that we keep seeing portrayed on our news stations, you on do, social media. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter yeah. if you you could obey by it, and it's just it's in their nature to feel like they could violate their rights their you know and yeah like you y'all put the was it the body cams on cops now and different things like that but i ain't trying to be funny it don't seem to be effective because from what i understand what's the point of the uh, that don't understand what is the point of the body cam a body cam could go it's just like a phone if i take my phone and i start recording you hey there is an erase button there so where are your phone? Right. There's so, a raise button. It'll go. That's a question. Ah. Can you erase something with a body camera? Yes, you can. Easily. Hmm. Hmm. It has known throughout the years that cameras has been probably tampered, tampered um, with. Yeah. Um, you know, play with. Oh, let's play with. Uh, you know, the only way you can't tamper a recording is if you get it at the moment, five or ten minutes right there you know but if you don't um if you don't she's popular <laughs> no i'm not popular it's just they just they call me. yeah at a an opportune time i just say this is what i say i don't want to bash y'all i really don't but what I what I want to say to cops is, please, be nicer to people. I know that you're dealing with criminals. I know, what you, and, and some of these people ain't even, like some of these people be doing little petty stuff, like giving a fake twenty dollar bill or something like that. Nobody deserves to lose their life over a twenty dollar bill. Now, mind you, um. Um, shit, I got lost. Mind you, people go out and do wrong things all the time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who don't get caught doing wrong things. We're not perfect. Things. Nobody is. Nobody's perfect. perfect. And Everybody some of these has... cops ain't even perfect. So my thing is, how do you go out there and try to act like you are perfect and be? Oh, well, he stole twenty dollars. Let's just put my knee in his neck and call it a day. No, no, y'all. You don't have. How do you feel? You don't you have that right. Like that. And then another thing is body cams, all this other stuff. When officers get these complaints, and I guess I'm talking to whoever's above the officers. I guess that would be the chief or whoever. Why did, can an officer have 18 complaints and nobody does anything? No disciplinary action, nothing? So that brings me it back. It smells like some... Mm. That pure investigation needs to be going on there. Yeah. And that brings me back, too, to, like, a while ago in my hometown, there was a guy who I didn't really necessarily go to school with, but I knew of him. Um, his, um, his name was Brandon. Brandon Webster? Yeah, Brandon Webster. He got into an altercation with officers, and he got shot. Um, now, I didn't know him that well like that, or whatever, and the stuff he did and all that, but, you know... The first thing people like to say when something like this happens, white, black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, whoever, the first thing everybody wants to say is that, oh, well, they should have did this. Well, they should have followed the, this. They should have followed this. Let me tell you something. Me, personally, as a black man, when someone stops, a police stops me, I am always nervous. Now... You know, I don't even have to be doing anything wrong when I get stopped. And I'm just like, well, what did I, you know. But I'm saying, I think, I'm pretty sure everybody gets nervous when they get stopped. Do you get nervous when you get stopped? Hell yeah, especially when I'm going 70 miles per hour. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, in those times, okay, let me be completely honest. In those times, 
If I got to stop and I was going like 70 miles an hour on the 55, I'm not nervous. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get a speeding ticket. That's fine. I'm just talking about <laughs> other times when people get stopped. And Listen, see, I, I can see him right here. And all of a sudden, I'm going, and then all of a sudden, my, I drop, and then I'll make sure on my rear, be like, okay, he, he's, he's probably uh, eating a donut or. <laughs> he's eating a donut. <laughs> or something. Not he didn't see me. The so go, was on. <laughs> when they stopped me, just, oh, the hot light was on. Did you see back there? No, um, I'm just saying in general, because I don't like to be too serious and talk about stuff, but y'all, it's really got to stop. And then on top of that, if we really want things to change and we really want things to change, stop recording these videos like my friend has said earlier on her Facebook and get out and do something. You know, we need more black cops. We need more black nurses, doctors, all those type of things. So that there, then we have a segue into things that we feel like we're being treated wrong. If we have more black cops, maybe, and I'm not just saying black cops, because there's some videos I've seen of cops be forceful with anyone. Black, white, Puerto Rican, just anyone. And my point is, I, like he said before, when I wrote on my Facebook, y'all yeah, could look me up, hit me up and look what I wrote, um, is that what is the point of you standing with your phone, grab it, don't mind this, this place in this new one. Um, what is the point of grabbing your phone and gra uh, just basically recording the situation instead of saying, listen, stop, get off of him, you know, or basically doing something like this is yeah, hands and on like going to that person and pulling like, Yes, but it's like I said on my post, yes, there are cops. Yes, they have guns. Yes, they have tasers. But guess what? If you gang up on them, they will... The whole point is that you, know what it you is? get to you ever have seen, one this off You ever, seen, off of you ever seen Soul Food, the movie Soul Food? Mm, I remember it, but I don't. You remember how the grandma was like, one, a mighty fist. Like, okay, so one of you, two of you go in there and be like, oh, get off of him. They ain't going to do nothing. But no, a couple you, of you, they can't shoot all of y'all. Exactly. Now, Especially when there was only four of them. When there's four and the, you see, like, the same way you guys see on tv all this rampage all these people you know vandalizing and stuff like that that's a couple of cops versus a hundred people if you have a hundred or 40 or 50 people they can't they're not rambo they're not they're not pull out their machine but, gonna thing, go, but my thing is you know i'm pretty saying? sure a lot of people are more scared because they feel like they might get hurt themselves and they might get shot themselves, and then there's an innocent bystander or somebody who was just trying to say, hey, stop, you know, loses their life because they're trying to help someone else. So, I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like one of them things where it could go either way. I can understand. And, I can't but completely understand that But at the same time, what if during the instance when someone is being stopped by these cops, like say it was a traffic stop, and they're stopped by this cop, and then, you know, they always pull up two or three more mm -hmm. behind them. So you what got four cops and one person in the car late you, at night. If you make the hesitation to approach them, maybe, just maybe, he would have saw that and he would have maybe pulled away from right. his knee off his neck. And he could have been alive today. But standing there and recording the situation, I mean, that... Eventually, at the long run, and it's gonna get to your head. It's gonna stay in your head, and you're gonna live with that for the rest of your life. You're gonna, you're gonna be really known for, you know, oh, I was there. I actually watched that man die in my face. You right know, and you just the truth of the matter is, whoop. right is right and wrong is whoop. wrong. Now, I, I also want to say too, because we were talking about this earlier. Y'all are going out and tearing up buildings and stuff. And now you're trying to be funny. I don't see the purpose. Because exactly. what they going to do? File it's, not, it's not going to bring claim. George Floyd back. It's no, not going to... It's not. What, it's you not. guys Let me tell you what you should be doing. You, what you should be doing is going to the BLET, whatever, they, however they call it, program, getting out there, and maybe even becoming a cop or becoming a judge or becoming something that can make a difference. 
out in the, in these streets, okay? Because at the end of the day, you want us to be protected, and we have to stand up to protect ourselves. And if we're going to protect ourselves, then we need to get behind those uniforms, these cop uniforms, go out there and do, you know, our duties. Because, like, and do it right, too. Don't be doing, don't be being a messy cop, no, you know, crooked cop and all that type of stuff. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying, we need to serve get your con- Serve your country the right way. Because I, Protect your, your people the right way. Because I've heard so many people say, oh, black people are dying and da 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 but yet I see none of y'all trying to go be a cop so y'all can maybe make a difference. And that's my concern. Now, people, there's probably people who's going to say, well, I got a record and I got this and I got that. Okay, that's fine. But there's still other ways around it. A record does not define you. Yeah. And on top of that, you know, do my thing is just go out there and be great in lame's lamest terms and do what you need to do and maybe put your position put yourself in a position to where you won't have to deal with such things as being, you know, stopped by a cop or, you know, giving fake money or whatever the case may be. None of I mean nobody's perfect and I'm not sitting here saying I'm better than nobody. Um but I understand that life is hard. They don't make it all right for you to make bad choices. We've all done it. Hell, I've got speeding tickets. I've been in wrecks. I've done things. I've taken things I probably shouldn't have. You know, we've all done it. But the moral to the story is it's not only black people out there doing these things. It's not only white people out there doing these things. It's not only Hispanic people out there doing these things. I want to say as a people, we should all stand together because God knows what's next. Mm -hmm. We have Corona going on. We have just so much going on. And it seems like people are more divided rather than being together. Now, I understand some of you don't like the other race and this, that, and the third. Okay, that's not my problem. But my thing is, how can you hate somebody that you don't even know? You never even met. I mean, I do know there's a couple people you meet that you just don't feel like y'all connect or whatever. But I'm talking about as in for black and whites who don't like each other or white people who don't like Hispanic or Puerto Rican. You know, each, you know, it's to each their own. It's, racism is a problem. Yes, it is. It is. It, it is. And I think some people don't even realize that they're being racist sometimes. They just think, oh, it's a joke. It's funny. I get, look. No, I work with different clients and I get I'll be walking down with my client and work with my client all of a sudden I'll be getting look up and down and, and I have I, hate to say I actually I actually had one lady at Lowe's mind you I was already off my job and I had a stressful day and she just picked the wrong one because to be honest with you um, she actually turned around and said to me, why don't you go back to your country? Where was this? In Lowe's. When Hardware. You, when, in Southport? Somewhere yeah, near here? Yeah, yeah Southport. Oh, MJ. Yeah, she, he, she actually turned around and said to me, why don't you go back to your country? I just cut my nail off with your scissors. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was random. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and I looked at that. I looked at her straight then I was up and I said to her, why don't you go fuck yourself? Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that in public, but I did. And, you know... What did she say then? Did she walk away? Her like, actually... Oh. her. It, what surprised me the most, that her actual husband pulled her away and said, that's what you get for being such a bitch. Her actual husband said that. And I was like, well, damn. I don't know whether she said thank you or... What? Or what? I mean, because... And I think, she, too, it's a lot... There's, I'm, I'm going to say this because it needs to be said, and I hate to say it, but there's a lot of older people on both sides of the fence, black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever, that are very racist. And I think it's because of the times they came from. They don't even know no better. So, you know, sometimes... When, I've heard some of my um, white friends talk about their grandparents, how they are low-key racist, and they just be trying to... You know, they just kind of laugh it off. Listen, black, white, Hispanic, we're all equal. We're all one. God made us all the same. 
different shapes, different sizes, different forms, different colors. But at the end, we're all the same. Baby, yeah, we all bleed red. Exactly. <laughs> Unless you are special and you bleed purple, pink, and yellow, mm, mm, yeah. you're, you're yeah. the same. Yeah, we're all the same. You're going to die Guess just what? like us. All of our insides are pink. Exactly. Oh my god, that, shades. excuse my the, my son. We might be he, all different shades. Yeah, he oh, um uh, when house. he gets into his Xbox, that's what happens. Yeah. We might be all different shades on the outside, but I think at the end of the day we are pretty much the same. We all go through issues, life, marriage, divorce, breakups, makeups, mm -hmm. relationships, friendships. We, we all go through the same things. Some of us have been arrested. Some of us have it. Yeah, you just go gotta, it. you just gotta, basically, take life as it is. Don't let the small things get to you, nor the big things get to you. And don't try to time your life based off what other people are doing. Exactly. That was a hard thing for me to understand. And this is we're gonna close it up for you guys. It's, what is going on at this point? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, don't try to base your life off of other people, because like a lot of people base their life off of, well, I should be doing this at thirty, and I should be doing this at forty, and da -da 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 -da. you know what? Life is a learning experience. I have fell on my face so many times. Okay, flat broke, all that, and if you, the best thing for you to learn is to get get the fuck up. Dust yourself off and try again, like Aaliyah said. There's a part in Cardi's B song that says, "You." Does she say something about in her one of her songs that says, "You"? I can't remember what she says. She says so many things in her song, but there's one thing that says, "If you fall ten times, you get up ten times." Yeah. Basically, that's what we're telling you. Be I yourself. Know, you know what part I like in Cardi B's song? I love says, Cardi B. I like Cardi B too. But this is the thing that I like that she says in one of her songs. She reminds me of me. <laughs> okay, Cardi B. <laughs> the one thing I like that she says in uh, one of her songs, she says, I got a baby. I need some money. I need cheese for my eggs. <laughs> and people are going to laugh. and be like, why would you pick that part? But the truth of the matter is, when you have children, you need money. And, and you need money for yourself. And then on top of that, guess what? How many times we went to a restaurant and wanted cheese on our eggs? And how, much is it, how many times does it cost extra? So, I like that when she said that because it's like, if you want things, you gotta get out there and work for them. It's not always gonna be easy. You might you not. You can't expect things you might to not be able, handed to yeah. you. And you might not be able to afford those cheese on your eggs all the time. But that's life. <laughs> this is this is part where you pull maybe a Medea and you bring some cheese from your house and you stick them in your purse and you slap some cheese on her. <laughs> she is so wretched. But on that note, we all need some cheese for our laid eggs. And me and Mary Ann are happy to say that welcome back to Truth Be Told and welcome back to us. It's been a while and I got to show you this because oh he goodness. was not expecting this. Oh, Mind geez. you, he already ate a piece of it, but oh, oh, right. well, you look at told me his you little... I cut it my name out. Yeah, he cut it right slack. Anyway, in the my birthday was like the 19th of May. And this little hooker surprised me because she knows I hate surprises. So ain't she just fucking great? So like, we love her. Exactly. Anyways. You know, if you tell me, let me, let, for y'all that don't know me, if you tell me something that you don't like She's gonna or do it. hate, I'm she, gonna do it. She's gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You know she's why? Because do it. I can. Because it doesn't matter if you don't like surprises. It's the simple fact that someone took the time and thought about you. Mm -hmm. That's what counts. That is what counts. And I did feel and very special. He is genuine someone that I got to love throughout what... Mm -hmm. the, oh, oh, you messed up my floor. <laughs> that was a bloop. But, uh, yes. Coco could get drunk like tonight. Coco, some... <laughs> but um, he is someone that genuine I met. What now? It's been what now? I don't know. I can't keep up with the time. <laughs> it's, it's been more like three years now? Three. See, it's been. Hold on. It's been two years? Two years? 
Is it two years or three? I was in McDonald's for a year. Okay. That's where we met. Okay. That's when the love connection happened. <laughs> 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 and then it just soared. It blossomed. Like, it, it blossomed. I mean, and it became cool. And you know how it blossomed? I'm going to yeah. tell you how it blossomed. Well, how I'm going to tell people how it blossomed. Yeah. How this man walks up to me. I don't remember. I probably said something crazy. Ignore me. Grass my fucking ass. I did that? Yes, you did. OMG. I and I was like. You're making me sound like Trump. I don't like it. <laughs> I was like, whoop. Thank God he's gay. <laughs> I'm gonna that part out. <laughs> but, um, and then it was a week, uh, what was it? A month or three months later, he was working at Walmart and I just walked up and went, pop, pop. She cut my booty cheeks. Yep. I just went. She made me feel really mm. And his eyes was like, I didn't know. Unbelievable. Was. Yep. I really didn't know. You didn't. And basically, that's how we. Okay, friends, we grabbed we, each other's butts. Yep, yeah, basically grab each other's ass. I don't remember grabbing your butt, but I guess I did it if you said it. Yeah, you did. It's right smack in the middle of McDonald's. <laughs> that was love at first sight. It in the pants. Yep. Who knows? I like watching butts. I'm a butt watcher. Yeah. But that's how we became friends. And, I mean, then he got a job traveling the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time after what? Forever. Forever that we see each other. Yeah. And I wanted to surprise him because I know how much he hates surprises and I could do that. She can do that. Yeah. She can. She's my mm. friend. Mm. Yep. Well, we're going to let you guys go now. We're like 36 minutes in. Yep. You guys have a good night. Stay safe and... Don't let the bed bugs bite or the corona, okay? At this point, this is about the only one corona that we'll be drinking. <laughs> <laughs>